Hey everybody, today's lesson is based around Oh My Sweet Carolina by Ryan Adams, a really slow, simple four chord song. Today we've got the capo on the third fret playing out of C position, which puts us technically in the key of E flat, but I'm going to be talking completely relative to the capo today. So we're going to be using the chords of C, F, A minor, and G. And the reason I've chosen this song today is because I think it's a really good example of how we can approach our playing with the attitude that less is more and really focus on our nuance, hammer on and pull offs, emphasizing different notes and really playing with the volume. I don't hear people talk about how hard we're playing, but basically we're going to be playing over these chords, but we're going to try to not play the whole chords. And so this lesson is very adaptable if you're a beginner or an intermediate player. If you haven't heard the song, stick with me because we're just going through a basic exercise of chord changes and melodic voicings today. So it should be a lot of fun, so let's dive right into it. Okay, so we start off here with this main intro riff, if you will. It's played entirely over a C chord, and the main function is hammering on and pulling off with our middle finger on the D and the G strings, all right? So we start off with our root note here on the A string. Okay, now listen to the next part. It goes. All right, one more time and then I'll explain it. Okay, so root note, then we are hammering on the D string with our middle finger, open on the G string, hammering on and pulling off on the G string, hammering on the D string, and there's a couple of extra notes here, listen closely. Alright, so you've got one more pull off and then we close again or we finish with that root note, okay? So, one more time. Okay, so those are just the emphasized notes and you might already be making what might sound like a mistake, but if you are playing or plucking extra strings, that is actually where we're trying to get to. We're trying to add extra notes into this sequence, however you feel, and over time you're gonna be able to hear the difference and it's going to start sounding really cool. So for example, this is me just sort of adding a bit of extra picks on the strings. No particular sort of pattern here, but it might sound like this. All right, and again, play as hard or as softly as you'd like. I think this is a really cool thing to kind of experiment with and the muscle memory you're going to get from hammering on and pulling off of that middle finger is going to help you wherever you play a C chord, I promise you from here on out. So I'm going to play through the chords in the verse, but what's important here is watch what I'm doing again with my middle finger as I'm moving from the C to the F chord and then I'm putting some really melodic sort of transition notes when I go from the G to the F, all right? So it goes like this, C to F, back to C. Now, as you're playing through those chords, the idea is that you will slowly sort of integrate some of those hammer-ons into your playing, right? So right there from the C to the F, right? I'm just really just moving that middle finger. It's going to take some experimentation. It might be a slow progression, but eventually you're going to find that that middle finger has a lot of power in making a lot of those melodic changes between these chords, right? And then on that G, I'm playing a hammer on on the A string there and a hammering on on the D string. That's a transition into that F chord. We can also walk. 
walk down to that A minor, right? Hit our root note, then the second fret on the A string into the A minor. C, G, C, right? And as you're playing along, just experiment. Again, this is a very adaptable song and it's cool just to play around with, right? And for the chorus, we start with our A minor, right? We can hammer on with our index finger if we want. To the F, to the C. A minor, F, G. A minor, F, C. It's gonna change here. A minor, G, F, into our opening rift, and the last part of the song before the outro is a piano break that is actually just the chorus but there is a unique little turnaround in it, so we will play C, G, F, C, F. All right, play to speed, it might sound like. And then again, into the outro, the opening riff again, where if you listen to the recording, there's even less played here. And again, it's all about just sort of learning to play differently depending on where you're at in the song. And now you've got some tips and tricks to know how to do that, messing with the volume and just, you know, playing music and having fun. So thank you for sticking around for this lesson. Again, listen to this song if you haven't. It's a killer tune. Until next time, adios. Adios.